In this video, I'm gonna be telling you how we stop leash pulling. It doesn't matter if your dog pulls a little bit or a lot, like Finn here. I'm gonna tell you how to stop it. It's gonna take five or 10 minutes. We'll see you in the video. All right, so let's get right into the video here. Finn here, as you can see, pulls like a maniac. He is about 35 pounds, but he pulls like absolute crazy. And it's really just, I mean, it's, it's all disrespect between him and the handler. Finn needs to understand that you pay attention to me. You pay attention to whoever's walking you on the leash. But what Finn actually does is he pays attention to literally everything else. He smells, he's a Britney Spaniel. So, right, of course he's gonna smell around. He's gonna be a little bit more high strung, but what we're gonna do is we are going to build some engagement, teach him to loose leash walk, and he is going to stop pulling in a matter of just a couple minutes. It's gonna be really plain and simple. Before I teach you how to do it, you need to understand why dogs pull. Right now, Finn is paying attention to everything else and that is engaging for him. That is fun for him. He is enjoying it. It has a lot of value to sniff things out, to find things off the ground, to chew them, to pull on the leash, right? When he pulls and he gets to go to where he pulls, inherently he's going to pull more because we just encourage the behavior of him pulling. Well, this time Finn was pulling to uh, take a pee, but We'll keep moving. As you can see here, Finn loves to, right? That person walking by was even engaging for him. And when we were on a leash, the only thing we were doing is it's a little bit of exercise, but really it's to get out about, go to the bathroom and explore in a very calm manner. And this calm is the last thing that I would uh, describe Finn to be. So. When Finn pulls, he gets to the end of the leash and he is rewarded because he gets to go to where he wants to go. What we're doing is we are discouraging the behavior of pulling and then we are going to build engagement. If all we did was sit here with treats first and try to get Finn, try to get his attention, well, we are going to run into problems because the value of me, all I'm trying to do is, all I'm doing there is increasing value in myself but I'm not touching the value of anything else. We need to teach him what's wrong. Pulling on a leash like this is wrong. He's going to hurt himself. It is dangerous. He's gonna put himself in a dangerous situation. That is plain and simple, wrong. And then once he understands that's wrong, we show him that this is right. That's all we're gonna do here. So right now we have Finn hooked up to a prong collar. It's not live. He's just been on his normal flat collar. I'm going to hook Finn up to his prong collar. It's about to go live. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're using a prong collar, don't forget your safety clip. Quick little lesson on prong collars. If you want your dog, if your dog is uh, really powerful and you want the prong collar to have the most amount of bite, you hook the leash to both of these D-rings, gives you a little more pressure. If you hook it to just one of them, it's gonna act kind of like a martingale. You're gonna have a little bit less pressure, depends on the dog. But we're hooking him up to a both D-rings because we need a lot of pressure. The first thing once a prong collar is live is it's gonna be an adjustment for Finn, right? He's not used to this pressure. And what we're gonna do, I'm not gonna do any training other than giving him just a little bit of pressure. Yes, good, Finn, good boy. And I'm teaching him to come back to me, to turn this pressure off. Every time he gets to the end of the leash, adding a little bit of pressure, a very small amount. Yes, good. And I'm making it really exciting when it comes back to me. Yes, that is going to encourage him to he, the, do the opposite of opposition reflex, right? When Finn, feels pressure in the past, and right now, feels pressure, he pushes into it. What we want him to do is feel pressure and go against the pressure, come with me, right? We want to, him to turn the pressure off, and that's what we're teaching him to do here. Yes, good boy, good boy. Super expressive with his tail, he is adorable. But once he really starts to understand, it might take him a minute or two to feel pressure. Yes, good boy, good turn pressure, to turn the pressure off, he has to come back to me. We will start getting into the training. Yes, good. So that one, I just gave him a little bit of pressure to turn around the camera right back to me. So give him one more chance, see if he got it. And if he does, we'll move on. Yes, good boy, Finn, good, yes. Cool, we are about to move on. And what we're gonna do here is a series of sudden U-turns, sudden stops, and sporadic walking. All we are doing is building a little bit of engagement and encouraging the dog when they're paying attention to us, but also 
discouraging the behavior of pulling and not being engaged with us. Finn, he's allowed to look around, he's allowed to sniff, he's allowed to smell. Yes, good boy. But what he can't do is pull. He cannot be at the end of the leash and he has to be paying attention to me at all times. Those are gonna be the rules for the rest of his life once he understands this, once the rules are really clear and the best way to make it really clear is with a prong collar, slip lead, some sort of tool to discourage behavior. So let's do some sudden u turns. So I'm turning around and I'm just walking this way. Yes, good boy. When he catches back up to me, I will tell him he's doing a good job. Do another U-turn, he caught me there. Yes, good Finn. When your dog catches you, a really important thing to do is make sure you tell your dog that that is exactly what you want them to do. If you do a U-turn and your dog looks at you and doesn't get to the end of the leash, you are going to heavily encourage that behavior. If they don't, we are going to add some pressure into the equation. The amount of pressure should be just enough to get your dog's attention. Yes, good Finn, good. Yes. It's a little game of red light, green light. When he's paying attention to me, well, great things are happening. When he starts to get distracted and starts to go over there, it's a little bit uncomfortable. He's like, whoa, you turn around and walk that way. What the heck? Turns around, catches up to me, and I show him, that's what I want you to do instead. Plain and simple, it is very clear to dogs when we use training like this. Using treats, again, is just going to distract your dog. Might work in some situations, but the long-term training is, you know, inconsistency, it's not gonna be there. Yes, good boy, Finn, good. And as you can see, we are not, uh, he's no less happy than he was before, his body language, right? He's not shut down. We're just using enough pressure just to communicate something's wrong and get his attention, right? We are, we are showing him what you were doing was wrong. All I want you to do is look at me and come back to me. We just did a couple U-turns. What we'll do now is we'll, uh, getting a lot better already, we'll get into some sudden stops. Yes, good boy, Finn. Didn't give any pressure, good boy. I'm gonna show him that's what we want you to do. Do another sudden stop. Paid, he's not looking at me, but he doesn't have to look at me. He just can't be at the end of the leash. Awesome, we are going to encourage that. Good boy. Yes, good. And if you do this properly, your dog is going to learn so fast that this is what you do, right? You walk with a loose leash. Good boy. Another quick little tip for you guys is when we start sudden stops, to give our dog some wins, I am audibly stopping with my feet. I am kind of stomping my feet ever so slightly down so he hears me stop. Yes, good boy, good. And when he does that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna encourage the behavior, praise that when he stops and he comes back to me. Yes, good. We'll now mix in some U-turns. Yes, good boy. What we wanna do, we wanna start, once we're at this point, start looking like a crazy person walking around the sidewalk. We want people to look at us and be like, wow, what the heck in the world are those people doing? We wanna be changing directions, changing speed. Yes, good. All these things, yes, to really make it a fun game for your dog. The more fun it is and the more engaging you are, the more your dog's gonna to wanna to pay attention to you. And every time you do a stop or you turn and your dog catches you, well, we are going to heavily encourage this behavior. Good boy, good. Ooh. And so there, Finn got distracted. He started walking ahead, yes. And what I did was I gave him a pop and turned around the other way. It's going to not completely transform in a couple minutes, but it's going to get a good ways of the way there. And what we're gonna do after this, this is what we call sporadic walking, stops, U-turns, changing speed, slowing down and when we do this we can start to once our dog gets it we can start to kind of back off the craziness of the sporadic walking yes good boy and we'll let our dog kind of just start to walk we're not going to just completely take our foot off the gas but we're going to take our foot off the gas a little bit and just start to walk more normally and our dog is going to do what he's about to do might be a couple seconds from now might be 30 seconds from now but he's going to start to get distracted a little bit complacent, You're like, oh, cool, this is over, I can walk, right? And he's gonna start to get to the end of the leash. When he does that, I'm gonna turn around and walk the other way, or I'm gonna do a sudden stop. I'm going to try to push him to make mistakes so I can really address them and show him that that's wrong. Ooh. Yes, good Finn, yes. You can see over the last 30 seconds of that before I gave him that little correction, 
he started getting slowly further and further away from me. So, good boy. He's allowed to be away from me, but he doesn't. The thing that he can't do is be at the end of the leash. And right before your dog is at the end of the leash, using proper leash pressure, we give correction, something that people struggle with all the gosh darn time is they're not using proper leash pressure. If you're not using proper leash pressure, you are never gonna teach your dog how to do something, right? Leash pressure, we always have the leash slack. There's always slack on the leash, and the only time the leash is tight is when we give a pop, a correction, a little bit of sudden pressure. It's not a pull, it's a pop. That's the only thing we're doing. Good boy! Garrett, man, how long have we been doing this for? About 10 minutes. 10 minutes, we got a loose leash walking dog. This is really easy if we do it properly. Our dog will have it down. Super easy. If you hit the subscribe button, love to see it. See you in the next one.